It's the pack and the cards for the first time ever. Two ACC schools meet in the Sweet 16. I'm Jeff Fischel. This is the ACC Now, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. What is your prediction? Who survives into the Elite Eight, NC State or Louisville? Tweet us at the ACCDN. Last month, NC State got the W at Louisville. Cat Barber led the pack with 21 points in the 74-65 win. Montrez Harrell has not forgotten. He was held to his worst shooting performance of the year, just one of five from the field, finishing with seven points. I mean, it was a tough shooting night for me. Um, you, you're always gonna, if you keep playing the game of basketball long enough, you're always gonna have a tough night. But I mean, it, it's just you know, uh, move, I learned the process and moving forward. I mean, I seen how they was playing. I mean, they really didn't see too many doubles. Um, they really had a tough dig on me though to make sure that I wasn't getting any good looks at the basket. So I kind of know how they're going to play me, but it, it, tomorrow is a whole different game, you know. Stopping the cards also means handling Terry Rozier. Like Harrell, State held Rozier to seven points, but Mark Gottfried says he sees a different Rozier and a different Cardinals offense now with point guard Chris Jones off the team. They're all more aggressive uh, offensively. And I think Rozier is the biggest guy. He, he's the guy that's uh, you know, he seems to hunt for his shots more. Uh, they go to him more. I think he realizes uh, he needs to score and step his game up. So, um, you know, sometimes when you lose a, a good player, especially a, a guy offensively that can do what, what Chris Jones could do, those other guys, they know they have to uh, play at a higher level. This is just the fourth time ever that two ACC teams have met in the NCAA tournament. In the 81 Final Four, James Worthy's Tar Heels beat Ralph Sampson's Cavaliers. Two years later in the Elite Eight, Sampson and the Hoos lost to Jim Valvano's Team of Destiny. And in the 01 Final Four, Duke beat Maryland on the way to the title. We know them better, and they know us better. We have great respect for them. They beat us at home. A lot of teams don't beat us at home. And it was a close game, and then they pulled away, and hurt us on the backboard, hurt us off pick and rolls, did a lot of really good things. And they're a team right now that can beat you so many different ways. What is every ACC team saying about its chances to survive in advance? You can watch on the ACC.com. Who survives and advances in this one, the cards or the pack? Tweet us your prediction at the ACCDN. I'm Jeff Fischel. That is the ACC Now, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.